my little baby thrashing about in their chains again. Are you still upset you got caught? Are you gonna start crying like a real baby too? Come on, answer me. Temper, temper. You really are throwing a tantrum. You know you wouldn't be in this position if you just stayed put. Right? You have no one to blame but yourself. <laughs> if you didn't want to be kidnapped, maybe don't be so kidnappable. Walking home in a group isn't just a friend activity, you know. Having people around you stops the big bad criminals from getting a hold of you. You're an adult. Shouldn't you know this by now? <laughs> oh, my cute little baby. So unaware of the world. Don't worry. Mommy is going to make sure you're well aware of the consequences now. Aren't you happy? I care about you this much. Your actual parents didn't care to educate you on the dangers as much as I'm doing right now. Visual learning. Or muscle memory. Or something. I don't know. <laughs> Some nerdy term. I can look it up later. Not that I really care. I'll have your parents in my mouth for as long as I want. And the rest of your family, your friends, anyone at all. I'll talk about them all day long if I want to. What are you going to do? Stop me? With what hands? The ones chained up behind your back. You think you're some super strength superhero? Oh, you have just the cutest delusions. Go on, <laughs> try and break free. It'll be fun to watch. My little baby throwing a tantrum just for my amusement is something I can't wait to watch. <laughs> Can you blame me for having my fun? You tried to run away the second you thought I wasn't paying attention. After I was so nice and only locked the door to your room. You broke the lock. Not to mention how you made me sweat unnecessarily while chasing after you. Ugh, I had to change my clothes. I picked that outfit especially for today, you ungrateful baby. Not to mention how you tried to headbutt me before I could knock you out. A cute girl that was stressing and working as hard as I did should be allowed to get a few teases in to let off some steam. Nor is your ego so fragile you can't take even the little prodding. Oh, I thought you were more mature than that. <laughs> language, language. Oh, such foul and necessary words. In front of a lady, no less. You can't be telling me to mind my manners, then throw around a bunch of expletives like that. Perhaps you need more than a talking to to realise what kind of situation you're in. Are we going to have a falling out, baby? Even an infant has better survival instincts than you do right now. I'd recommend you stop making yourself seem less mature than a newborn before you force my hand. Good. See? Good behaviour gets rewards. Once I fix the lock on your room door, if you can show me I can trust you not to bust it again, I'll consider getting rid of the chains. It's your room now, silly baby. You live here now. 
This isn't a mummy on the first week, daddy on the second week kind of deal. This is your new permanent residence. The only say you have in the matter is whether or not you can enjoy your new space. <sighs> Talking like that isn't a good way to instill faith in me, you know. Or are you trying to play hard to get? Act off now so you seem even sweeter later. Or a game of cat and mouse? An emotional tug of war? I'm not really into that. But I can tug on these chains and make them tighter. No need? <laughs> Why is that? You think you're going to be able to outrun me a second time? Or the fact you even think you're capable of getting a second chance is... Adorable. <gasps> oh, the police! Oh no! People who are just as easily manipulatable as the rest of the population! Whatever shall poor little old me do? <laughs> what? Did you seriously think I'd start freaking out at the mention of the police? Oh, silly baby! Sure, someone could and probably will notice you've gone missing and report it to the police. But why would they suspect me? People think our entire relationship is acquaintances where one of them doesn't like the other that much. Though, <laughs> you probably still think that's our relationship. I made sure to pretend to forget who you were from time to time, too, when people in our club were talking about you. In the extremely off chance they do ask me if I know what happened to you, I'm more than capable of feigning ignorance. Language again? Though, I appreciate you asking a question instead of throwing only an insult in my face. My silly baby can learn. As for why I kidnapped you in the first place, guess. Nope, you have to guess. You should have enough context clues by now, shouldn't you? Or are you just a pretty face? I'm not going to tap on your forehead and hear an echo, am I? Though, considering your escape attempt, that wouldn't be all too surprising. Torment you? I think I'd be doing a lot more if I wanted to torment you. I'd be like, why did the chicken cross the road? Or, I'd step on you until you're into it. Whichever I was in the mood for. <laughs> you call it gross now, but I could get you to like it. It'll be simple after you learn to like me. <laughs> uh -oh. Figured it out now, Einstein. <sighs> Silly baby. I love you. Can't go your tongue. I'm not going to throw another bad word my way. No effing way. Shut the F up. Mm hmm. As serious as serious can be. Is it really that shocking? I was flirting with you every time we interacted during club activities. I've been flirting with you this entire conversation. <laughs> Not to mention, my nickname for you is Baby. <laughs> You're sounding like a dense harem anime protagonist right now. 
It's not a good look. I mean, <laughs> it was also a tease. But isn't the beauty of words the fact that they can be both? Maybe if you realized that, you could have predicted all of this. Oh, such a shame. For you, I mean. I'm very much enjoying this. Bingo! <laughs> well, you can learn. You're going to be staying here in this lovely room of yours, inside this lovely house of ours, until my feelings are no longer one-sided. It will happen. It's inevitable. We have all the time in the world to do this at your pace. <laughs> Don't worry. You can still act like you're ignoring and avoiding me like you did in the club. I'm curious to see how long you'll last. Sooner or later, you'll appreciate me for who I am. Then that appreciation will turn to like. And that like will turn to love, and that love will lead to a confession. <laughs> There's the swearing I know and love. Oh, so sweet of you to treat me to it. See, I really didn't like how you spoke to me at first, but now <laughs> I'm happy with it. And that's how it'll be for you. I'm looking forward to the future, my silly baby. Thank you for listening to my ASMR roleplay. If you like this video, Please make sure to leave a like, and comment about what you liked best. Oh, and please subscribe if you'd like to see more. If you'd like to listen to more right away, I have a playlist dedicated to all my ASMRs for you to choose from. Please consider supporting me on my Ko-fi, and thank you to those who already have, such as Wilson and Death Kill Project, and to those who have supported me with super thanks such as Kill More Combined Zero. I hope you all have a wonderful day or night, wherever you are.